हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर अजीत जायसवाल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पाण्डिचेरी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी पुडुचेरी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए मॉड्यूल्स कॉल्ड एज अप्लाइड फिजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी अंडर पेपर फिजिकल और बायोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल्स आर एज फॉलोज इन दिस मॉड्यूल्स वी आर गोइंग टू टू फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन अप्लाइड एंड एकेडमिक एंथ्रोपोलॉजी we try to know the different types of applied anthropology and also try to find out the various domain of applied anthropology with with illustrative example let now let let's try to give you a glimpse of informations in the form of introduction applied anthropology tend to to concept it lend its concept from traditional anthropological and addressing a facets of uh, of a contemporary socio economic political and health issue facing different facing different population and organization the first use of the term applied anthropology occurred in the description of the oxford pro program applied work work understanding applied work undertaken by the by the ethnological society of the london and later the anthropological society of london fund founded in 1843 and 1863 respectively provided the field with much of its dis, dis, disciplinary infrastructure the basic tenet of all sciences is to apply the result of their investigation in the welfare of human being as such physical anthropologists also utilizes their concept of primate evolution biological aspect of human being and human variation to specific situation in an applied setting applied physical anthropology thereby indicate the applied concept in the field of physical anthropology it mainly focuses on the process of uh, evolutionary changes the measurement observation and the technique used by the physical anthropologist are employed in the field of medicine dentistry public health and criminal investigation an applied physical anthropologist should have a solid background in data collection and assessment for successful carrying out the applied work thus according to jaswal has the applied anthropology has as rightly remarked that applied anthropology fulfill a useful and profitable function in the in the in the society of mankind here an attempt has been made to give a a, a general view of the domain where physical anthropology has has a practical implications applied anthropology versus academic anthropology the application of knowledge theory method and data of anthropology in non academic setting such as governmental and non governmental organization medical hospitals and corporate sector to address societal issue is known as applied anthropology it is sometimes referred to as practicing anthropology applied anthropologists put anthropological knowledge into real world practice practical anthropological application started in the 1960s as its holistic and ethnographic perspective feed the social interest of that period it spread in the 1970s as anthropologists were absorbed in international or national organizations corporate sector and governmental institutes academic anthropology referred to teaching and adding to the knowledge base of anthropology it focuses on teaching training research and writing it began in the early 20th century by melanoski boas and the like and the world war to foster its growth however an academic anthropologist can carry out applied anthropological work at the same time similarly an applied anthropologist can speak and write about their experiences thereby 
adding information to the academia as well. Types of applied anthropology. Applied anthropology comes from all the four step field of anthropology. That is applied physical anthropology. Applied physical anthropologists work in genetic counseling, substance abuse, then epidemiology, aging, mental illness, forensic, public health and nutrition. Whereas the applied archaeological anthropology, it manage cultural resources. They study the cultural studies. They study, locate and preserve historic and prehistoric sites threatened due to the developmental work. Whereas in the case of applied social anthropology, this anthropologist, social anthropologists work with businessmen, economic development expert, social worker, advertising professionals, factory workers, medical professional, school professional, etc. Whereas the applied linguistic anthropologists, this anthropologists work in a distinct school with various with var various languages. Domain of applied physical anthropology. The measurement technique used by applied physical anthropologists is termed as anthropometry. Hansen and Korn Kornog 1958 have described anthropometry as the theory and practice of taking bodily dimensions by suitable instrument and the orderly treatment of the resulting data. The technique is widely used in human engineering. It is divided into four areas that is somatometry concerned with measurement of both living and dead body, osteometry measurement of the skeleton or bone, craniometry it is the measurement of the skull and cephalometry which is concerned with the measurement of head and face. These measurements give information about the proportion among different limbs. Population variations due to age called as physical growth, physique and its relation to sports that is kin anthropometry, nutritional status etc. They are employed in measuring military personnel for designing railroads, airplane seats and space suits. It is divided into dynamic and static measurement. Static measurements are used to provide space and clearance around the body of fit people. In applied anthropometry, dynamic measurements are more important because the measurements are done when the body move while working and objects are designed based on this. Kin anthropometry or anthropology of sports. Physical anthropological methods are utilized in sports as relation between body build, physique, etc. are seen with activities of sports. Once physical active capacity determined by heredity and health is called potential physical capacity, whereas the capacity developed through physical exercise is termed as acquired capacity. Exercise can reduce or increase the quantity of fat, strength, endurance, speed of contraction and elasticity of a muscles are directly associated with sports activities. Right kind of physical activities can help in the development of vitality, vigor, skill and stamina which is necessary for sports. Every individual has his peculiar capabilities determined both by heredity and environment, thereby posing a unique problem. Structure and function of different parts of human bodies are interrelated. In order to remain physically fit, one need to perform some kind of exercise which is termed as the minimum label. Even for this label, the instructor should be careful in assigning the kind of sports to the individual. He should assign only after studying the individual's mental and physical condition. 
This aspect is very vital when an individual is trained to make him or her an expert in a particular sport. At the same time, we should look at the physique, heredity and aptitude of the individual. If we think of a rare competition, then it is expected that the brachycephalic, that is short leg, long trunk, are expected to win the race due to their stronger heart and larger lung when resistance is taken into account. Macroscalic, that is long leg and short trunk type, has a chance of winning. Bar exercise is an event of gymnastic and it should be adjusted to the height of the head or chest to derive the benefit. Sport physiologists use many of the body measurement techniques developed by physical anthropologists. Athletes' bodies are measured and the different body types are correlated with particular sports. Anthropology of sports studies sports in a systematic manner from a cross-cultural perspective. Tribal peoples and their sports are studied which gives an understanding of how their way of playing games help in developing their physique and conduct in sports. Since 1928, physical anthropology of Olympic athletics has been interestingly studied. Cole Rausch measured approximately 300 athletes at Amsterdam, 1948. United States Olympic Games was studied by Kirsten. Their finding concluded that differences were observed in age, weight and height among the various events. Tanner found out that there was marked differences in the somatotype of the athletes and the general population. Another case study Performed in 1976, the Soviet Union State General Institute of Physical Culture studied adult sportsmen and found out that each sport has its own peculiar influence upon the physical development and functional capabilities of an individual. Basketball player had largest chest expansion while weightlifters and wrestlers had the largest chest circumferences. Swimmers had the largest lung capacity. Forensic Anthropology Forensic Anthropology is one of the subfield of applied physical anthropology where the knowledge of physical anthropology is applied to law. It is considered as one because Forensic Anthropology is often called upon to testify as an expert witness to present his or her findings which may prove or disprove the identity or cause of death of the victims. Skeletons are reconstructed from skeletal remnants by forensic anthropologists to determine the identity of an individual be it age, sex, height or any other physical characteristics of a human body. Beside this, the constructed bones reveal fractured bones or surgery or dental work, nutritional stress and socio-economic living condition of the individual. This can aid the police in tracing out reported and unreported missing person. Personal identification is done by identifying gender, age, height, race, fingerprint, scars, tattoos, deformities, moles and handwriting. Biometrics is widely used these days for secure identification and personal verification due to increasing level of security breaches. It is a very important facet for both national and international security. Many organizations also use biometrics for enhanced user convenience, security and maintain record. Dermatographics, the study of various untapped fingerprint classification has also added in personal identification. Forensic Taphonomy Forensic taphonomy deals with the external factor that affect the bone. Circumstances of an individual death can also be ascertained by either checking out the bullet holes or stab wound 
in the skeletal fragment which is indicative of the particular weapons used in killing the victim. The forensic anthropology can also tell about the place, location where the individual was murdered as they can determine whether the body was disturbed or transported after the murder. They apply their knowledge and technique even in the arena of genocide, terrorist and war crime by determining the population and the biological aspect of the disease. However, forensic anthropology can be viewed as a sister rather than a daughter discipline of physical anthropology. It is because forensic anthropology utilizes the principle of both archaeology and physical anthropology. Recovery, preservation and documentation of the evidence employ the technique of archaeological anthropology while the laboratory analysis and reconstruction of identity and forensic taphonomy employ the technique of physical anthropology. Ergonomics The study of man in relation to his working environment is termed as, is termed as ergonomics. Physical anthropologists provide the anthropometric measurement to create a smooth interface with the product and the varied dimension of the human body. Corner and Gordon in 1996 have rightly said that product from, from toothbrushes to, to, to a luxuries, luxuries, luxury items are, are, are touching ergonomic design. The limb proportion and the use and the size of the body vary in different population. For this, age, gender, nature of work, and place of operation should be taken into account for designing the item. Let us illustrate some example here. Different kinds of furniture are used in different places. Desks and chairs are used in schools and colleges. Kitchens, furniture, office tables, files, uh, file shelves, drawing rooms, furniture, bedroom furniture, bathroom for fittings, etc should be designed according to the convenience of the user as per their body size. If seats, if seats in, in road vehicles, airplane, train, etc. are not properly designed, then the passengers will not feel comfortable. Workers in industry will work more efficiently if they can use the surrounding and the, and the equipment comfortably. Case study Seats on train. Using anthropometric data of a people, applied anthropologist Hutton conducted research in the seating alignment in trains to make more comfortable seat. He found out that certain bad seating arrangement result in bad posture, skeletal, muscular, and other disabilities, whereas good seating arrangement enhance improved circulation respiration and corrected posture. Through the analysis of variation in the anthropometric body measurement, train seats were redesigned. Based on this observation, seats for educational institutes, offices and vehicles were designed. Next case study is armed forces. Anthropometric survey on military personnel are conducted to get their body measurements which are used to meet various demands. Since 1951, the National Military Academy in Mexico has been doing effective work in this domain. Biometric investigations are widely used in the selection of decadets. The Air Force also used the anthropometric data in solving spatial problem in aircraft and in redesigning flight clothing. Anthropometry is also used to design the cockpit as per body size seat for the passenger's aircraft, designing of tank and gun sight, pressure suit and helmet, anti-gravitational suit, gas mask, pistol and guns, etc. The quartermaster corps emphasize on finding out the relationship between body and clothing measurements so that the clothes may fit the military personnel with minimum or no alteration. Neuroanthropology 
in contemporary cognitive sciences the neuroanthropology studies how the interaction of culture and biology affect the development of human brain and behavior the neurological perspective on the human brain suggests that the evolutionary framework of human culture is rooted in a pre-existing primate neural systems neurological mechanisms with positive emotions are the basis for 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 this particular concept like yoga and meditation the influence of cultural variation in neurological concept is in its uh, is in its infancy the role of culture in neuroplasticity extend throughout human brain evolution therefore the role of metabolic stress is required to understand the relation of uh, empathy and other social emotion to to some to 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 some static some state hence investigation of traditional culture on on brain is done by studying the the level of physical activity and calorie intake through 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 indirect method which make which makes use of a physical anthropological technique pattern of neurodynamics has been studied among ethnic group in india and has been found that the thinking pattern remain almost same till the ages of the 30 one in both the both the genders and there is little differences in feeling in both the gender till middle age fashion anthropology a new field of anthropology termed as fashion anthropology has emerged physical anthropologists use their anthropometric method to give information about the different size and shape of the body to the cloth manufacturer for them to adjust the label required to fit the customers footwear used in varied occasions are also designed based on the measurement of the size and shape of the foot of different ethnic population depending upon body size clothing for the armed forces is developed clothing bag etc are designed based on the principle that a person is capable of carrying weight to a certain level if the weight is distributed all over the parts of the body this way the individual can lost less energy and work more judiciously medical science the method and data of physical anthropology have been extensively used in the field of medicine dentistry gynecology orthopedics orthodontics pediatrics prosthetics etc the medical doctors require the knowledge of anthropometry for measuring the patient a gynecologist should know the dimension of the pelvis of the expected mother and the approximate circumstances of the head of the baby in the womb likewise an orthopedic surgeon should have an idea about the measurement of the bone at the time of diagnosing the presence of a bone lesion different disease resistance of optimum temperature humidity etc are understood by utilizing the result of study of the physical anthropologist physical health and epidemiology physical anthropologist study the distribution and determinant of disease in various ethnic population and its findings are used for intervention and to promote health in the studied population the effect of lifestyle transitions and the role of epigenetics on health and disease of different ethnic populations are also explored thereby it aids in public health and epidemiology example is relationship between various body measurement and medical outcomes are examined then there is another example malnourished nutrition in resource that is poor clinical settings are diagnosed with the help of anthropometric measurement medico legal aspect 
Knowledge of human genetics, one of the main field of physical anthropology, is used in paternity diagnosis. Paternity diagnosis arises in situations where questions arise whether a particular man or woman is the father or mother of a child, or claim a long lost child, or a couple may suspect that their child has been interchanged with another baby in the hospital, or anyone can claim a child as their for inherited property or the like. Genetic relationship exists between the patient and the child. Exclusion of parentage can be said with certainty but one can never prove parentage. Genetic evidence can say that person could be the parent of that particular child. The most widely used genetic trait for judging paternity disputes are the blood group system that is ABO, MN and RH. Only one system may be sufficient but sometimes more than two systems are taken into account. DNA fingerprinting is also used for paternity diagnosis. Eugenics Eugenics is an effort to improve the quality of the human race. In today's world, it is not only the fittest one who survive but it has become possible even for the unfit ones to survive. Thus, what should we do under such circumstances? Two measures could be applied. Reproduction among those who whom society considered desirable should be increased, which is known as positive or progressive eugenics. The other measure is to discourage reproduction among those who have certain genetic defect, mental and physical, which is known as negative or preventive eugenics. It has been found that families of lower socioeconomic group have high average number of children, which is detrimental to the genetic quality of human population. They should be encouraged to restrict their family size and accept birth control measures. A case study is there. In early times, many children with a severe cliff palate and hair lip did not survive but now, with modern surgery, they live a modern life. Thus, in recent time, the frequency of this gene is rising. To reduce such kind of increase in frequencies of undesirable genotype, Various negative measures have been suggested. Genetically defective person has to be prevented from reproduction and if the probability of giving birth to a defective children by a couple is very high, then they should go for medically induced abortion of the fetus. See the picture. It clearly shows that we need then the condition has shown the condition has arises where we need only healthy seed a seed which must be free from all the disease and disorder now let's discuss about the genetic counseling with the advanced level of human genetic people seek advice for many reasons in case where a person want to know the chances of having children with inherit in fact uh, inherited defect if he marries a girl who has a sibling with that defect or for a couple to have a second child if the first is mentally ill etc. Genetic counselor is contacted. A counselor provides all the necessary genetic and medical information, social, economic and psychological factor associated with the case and leaves the choice to the person to seek advice. A genetic counselor happened to be either a medical doctor or a well-trained professional having specialized knowledge of human genetics. Accurate diagnosis of the disease should be done and karyotyping is sometime required when, when, which, when it is established that hereditary factors are involved in that particular trait. Then 
the hereditary background and the type of inheritance involved is determined through pedigree analysis the counselor then gives advice to the to the on the basis of the finding in 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 terms of probability and severity of the defect along with associated problem low risk and less severity is a different situation to high risk and high severity the risk risk may be low but the probability may be high whereas the risk may be high but the probability may be low however while disclosing the informations of the individual care should be taken so that the the person may not become psychologically upset genetic screening and its treatment genetic screening help the future generation to get rid of many undesirable inherited diseases screening may be done at the intra uterine diagnosis and of the newborn immunosynthesis the method by which many biochemical disorder and most chromosomal abnormalities can be detected at prenatal stages if the diagnosis indicates certain defect in the fetus then the parents are advised to think of considering abortion a pregnant woman over the age of 35 years may have a high risk of carrying a baby with down syndrome phenylketonuria is an inborn error of metabolism which is an autosomal recessive trait caused by mutation affecting the mechanism of metabolizing phenylalanine it is characterized by mental retardation if accurate diagnosis is done before the newborn need medical attention then the baby can be treated and mental retardation could be prevented this kind of disease might be able to eliminate recessive gene disease by identifying heterozygotes and avoiding the marriage among them detection of non affected carrier that is sickle cell anemia can be done by simple methods where mass screening at population level is very important genetic engineering or genetic manipulation hereditary diseases are treated by many method the correction of genetic defect by dna technology is known as genetic engineering or genetic manipulation there are different technique involved that is transformation transduction and replacement transformation is concerned with the introduction of genetic information from the external sources free dna is put into the cell and integrated into the dna which receive the same hence the dna is transformed leading to the correction of the defective gene in certain cases where foreign dna is not accepted by the recipient dna rna is isolated and dna transcription with with rna dependent dna polymerase is prepared in human dna technology has corrected many enzymes defect transduction is one where virus mediated the the dna that is introduced to the to the host genetic information to the host genetic information uh, from the host dna is incorporated into the virus dna then the bacterial material is transferred to the to the new host and becomes active in the new cell functionally homologous viral viral genes replace defective genes presence of virus are the or the association of viral infections with certain metabolic traits may be beneficial for human history and sociology the data of physical anthropology has given the correct interpretation of the first fact in the subject like history and sociology physical phenomena in prehistory and ancient history where written documents are either lacking or are very insufficient to reach at a definite conclusions are explored through the finding of a physical anthropologist due to the analytical study of the physical anthropologist today the doctrine of racial superiorities and inferiority in the history of different countries 
prevalent to fulfill different political and economic motives has been proved ab absurd. The physical anthropologists have studied the races of mankind in a careful way and are trying hard to eradicate this particular disease from human society. The importance of physical anthropology is utilizing by the new classical sociologists in their study and research. Malinowski has remarked that social and cultural determinism always modifies the individual physiology. Future Prospects Research-oriented and action-oriented work or academic anthropology and applied physical anthropology should be mediated in order to open more ways for gaining employment and bring the historically divided arenas more closely to each other. Now let's try to give you a information, some of the important information in the form of summary. Use of anthropological theory and method in practical situation is termed as applied anthropology. Physical anthropology is also tremendously applied to offer practical solution to problem of a varied situation, which is known as applied physical anthropology. Here applied physical anthropology or applied anthropology and physical anthropology play vital role like working with human engineering, engineering data to design suitable environment and aid police in identification and investigation of disaster or murder victim. Anthropometry is the apl application measurement used by applied physical anthropologist which is the standard technique of measuring body dimension by calibrated instrument. Applied physical anthropologists have also integrated anthropometry into clothing, design, product manufacturing and ergonomic. It has a special role in kin anthropometry or anthropology of sports. One of the subfield of applied physical anthropology is forensic anthropology where anthropological data is applied to law. The second and the second, the method and the data of physical anthropology have been extensively used in the field of medicine and other uh, medicine related field also. Like different diseases resistance of optimum temperature, humidity, etc. are understood by utilizing the result of study of the physical anthropology. The effect of the life history transmission and role of Epigenetics on health and disease of uh, different ethical populations are also explored, thereby it aids in public health and epidemiology. Even the eugenic is also an effort to improve the quality of human race. Genetic is screening, like, like we will get also, we will try to uh, discuss about the genetic screening that help the future generation to get rid of many under undesirable inherited disease. Even we discuss about genetic engineering, genetic manipulations and number of other features related to related to, to that which clearly explain the, the, the scope of applied anthropology as, as varied. Henceforth, it, it serves a profitable function in the society of human being. Thank you.